So it's 2020 and you decided to become a web designer. Now, first of all, it's like the worst time right now with everything going on. But if you did, hey, it's not too late. I decided to start a design agency in this year of 2020. But how do you do it? How do you become a web designer in the year 2020? Is it too late? I'm going to tell you this right now. It's not. And in this video, we're going to give you five tips that we can apply so that you can get started on your design journey. What's going on, everyone? My name is RR Broad, and I'm here on YouTube really just to encourage creatives like yourself or people who are looking into getting into the creative field. Uh, I want to encourage you to hop right into it. I want to give you some tips so that you can get started on your design journey. You see, I'm not that much far ahead as where you are right now. I decided to jump into being a full-time freelance designer just last year, November. I'm going to tell you this, I was broke. I was living in my parents' home. I had a wife and two kids at that time. And now I have an awesome, I mean, I'm not saying I have the best life ever, but uh, I've been able to provide for my family uh, in an effective way doing this thing of designing websites for people. And I want to encourage you, if I can do it, you can do it as well. And uh, even though you may think, oh, 2020 is probably the worst year ever, it's not. It's actually a good year for you to become a web designer. So in this video, let's go through five tips that we can learn, we can start on starting today. First thing that you want to do is you want to develop a learning mindset. You've got to be able to learn. You can't be waiting around. So, oh, you know what? I need to go to design school. I need to go to school for this. You really don't. I started learning web design really through, and of course I had some friends that have helped me along the way, but most of it was what we like to call Google and YouTube University. And can I tell you this, it's one of the best universities out there and it is the cheapest university out there because it's free. You can learn anything you want on Google and YouTube without even paying a single cent. I learned HTML coding, CSS coding, and JavaScript coding all through searching on Google and searching on YouTube. I learned Webflow because of Google and YouTube. And can I tell you this right now, Google and YouTube are still one of my go-tos even today. Even though I've been doing web design for many years, I know that I still need to learn. You have to develop a mindset that you are willing to learn on your own. Someone once said, if you want it, you'll find a way. If you don't, you'll find an excuse. So if you're gonna get into this creative field into this design industry, you're always going to be constantly learning and you have to learn to learn things, to learn, to learn things. You have to learn to be able to learn things for yourself. The second thing that you want to do, especially if you're just starting out in your creative journey is you need to create a portfolio, put your design work out there. You have to be able to show it. Don't be afraid of it. You may think, oh, my work is not good enough. I'm going to tell you this little secret. Your work is never going to be good enough, but you've got to put yourself out there. So show your work, but not only that, write about your process. Talk about your process so that prospective clients or even prospective employers will know what it's like to work with you and then they can kind of get a feel of how it is and then possibly have the potential to hire you or or or, or um, um, go to you for their next project the third thing they want to do now that we've created our portfolio you need to establish an online presence this is very key, especially during this pandemic. I mean, we can't go outside and network right now. We can't meet people face to face. So you know what? You have a way to connect to millions, nay, billions of people. And that is through online. You have to create an online presence. And this goes, uh, this, this happens through your social media, um, like Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Put yourself out there. Get to know people. Connect with them. Make connections with people and establish your brand, your personal brand or your reputation pretty much online. So I want to encourage you, start posting content, start putting out what you want to uh, talk about, whether it be on Instagram or LinkedIn is a good area or TikTok, whatever it may be, put some content out there and establish an online presence. The fourth thing that you want to do is you want to figure out right now, determine what route is it that you want to take. 
This is very important, especially when you're crafting your portfolio. You have to determine what route are you going to take? Are you going to be an in-house designer? Are you trying to get a job? So if you're trying to get a job, then the portfolio will be looked at by potential employers. So then you have to craft your portfolio to attract potential employers. Are you going that route? Or are you going the route of freelance? Then you have to craft your online presence and your portfolio so that you'll be able to attract clients or design agencies so that they can reach out to you and have and have you do some of their work. If you're going to do a web design agency or a design agency, then you know what? It's not gonna be a portfolio. It's gonna be a full-on website for your agency and you're gonna be tailoring that to attract clients. So figure out early on, what route are you going to take? When you decide, just jump in there. Believe in yourself that you're going to get there. So figure out what route you're going to take and then tailor your online presence, your social media for that route. I know early on that I'm not good at logos. I'm going to tell you right now, I suck at logos. I'm really not good. Like I'm trying, I'm not. And maybe if I keep working on it, I, I, I can get good at it. But I know my, my expertise right now is websites. So I fully jumped into that route. So determine what route you're going to take. And then lastly, this is probably one of the most underestimated, but one of the most important things that you need to do is you want to connect with other people in your industry. There are people that you probably look up to in this design industry. I know there's people that I look up to. Find a way to connect with them. Engage with them. Well, not just with them, by the way. Engage with the people that follow them because they are probably on a similar journey as you. Engage with them, connect with them, talk with them. And don't just talk with them just so you can hopefully get a job. Don't just reach out to someone, hey, do you have a job for me? Or, hey, I, I do this, 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 this. Don't just always try to sell yourself. Try to actually form real relationships with someone, genuine relationships. You know, I don't like the word networking. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a, that's a weird word. I think that's a, a dirty word, to be honest. I honestly just look at it as creating relationships, forming friendships, and be friendly out there. There's many ways you can do that uh, through online. Right now, it's hard. You can't really meet people face to face. Meeting people face to face is a great way to meet other to meet other people. Duh. But to create relationships with other people in your field. But another thing that you can do is you can join these Facebook groups. Um, you can engage with an audience of someone you look up to and engage with those people. And when you get to these Facebook groups or whatever, don't just go in there and say, this is what I do, hire me right now. No, go in there and be part of the community. Man, um, put, make some jokes, comment on other people, uh, um, engage with other people that are posting there, uh, not just selling yourself, but actually engaging with them. And then you start forming these relationships, you start meeting people, and then you know what? When they start thinking of a, uh, when they need a project or when they know, uh, know of a client that's looking for someone, they're gonna think about you. So I wanna encourage you to create those relationships and you can do that starting today. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something from that. If you did, could you do me a favor and click that like button and that helps uh, me keep creating these videos and then also consider subscribing. We come out twice a week with videos about web design, about the business and how you can learn web design as well. Until next time, I'm going to see you guys later. I want to encourage you to always keep learning. Say hi, Chloe. Hi. 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 Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Happy holidays. Ha hi, day. <laughs> I love you. Hi, Chloe. You love daddy? Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.